Hi everyone, Kevin here from Golf Guy Reviews and in this video today I wanted to try something a little bit different. So during my first round back after the Covid lockdown here in the UK, I filmed myself playing three holes at my home course of Wardley Park here in Brentwood, Essex. Now to borrow from the brilliant Eric Anders Lang, I thought I'd provide a little bit of insight on the video so you can see where my golf is currently and generally just have a bit of a laugh at my dodgy swing. I hope you enjoy the video today so let me know down in the comments if you do. So we're starting on the 6th hole here at Worley, which is actually the hardest hole on the course. Uh, it's a par 4, uh, around 415 yards to the front, and you've got out of bounds right down the left, uh, but you've got a lot of room down on the right, but you don't want to go too far right, and you'll see why in a little bit. Of course, I hit a big old wipey slice, uh, and I have blocked myself out. Now the reason why this is the hardest hole on the course is right here. When you get down, you've actually got just a narrow kind of gap at the bottom. Uh, you can try and go over the trees if you want, so long as you're not too far out. Here I've got about 180, I believe, to the front of the green. Uh, trying to play from the rough. I'm going for a big old hero slice and just push it straight into that kind of forest area. So, of course, we're going to be taking a drop. So I kick a ball down there. Uh, I know that's not the official way of doing a drop, but I'm just on my own, so you know, don't at me on that one. Uh, and I try and go for that same shot again. Uh, this time I execute it a little bit better. You can see there that I just missed the edge of the tree and then fade it nicely onto the green. Um, actually, I was really, really happy with the shot because uh, when you come and take a look on the green, I didn't think I was actually going to land it on the green spinners, but I just managed to get it on the back. So I'm left with about a 20 foot putt. Uh, this green actually slopes quite significantly, so you can see I'm aiming quite far left of the hole. And I roll that up there, and actually I'm pretty happy with where this putt finishes. It means I can tap it in for a six, uh, which puts me at two over. If I was playing Stapleford, then actually I'd get two shots on this hole, so it would give me two points anyway. Uh, but two over isn't the worst start for me, given that this is the hardest hole on the course. Moving on to the seventh hole, which is a tricky little par four. It's not particularly long, so if you've got the distance, you can try it and carry to the green, which is hidden behind those trees there on the left. Uh, or you can choose to just kind of lay up over the water. You've got a lot of room, so you can easily hit a big old slice if you want. But actually, I hit a little four hybrid, uh, kind of around a 170 carry, and actually kind of put it in a real nice position because I get a decent amount of rollout, which takes me over towards the green. Now, this family of geese residing on the red tea told me to tell you to subscribe to the channel. But don't blame me, geese told me to say that. Now, this is probably my least favourite spot on the golf course. Although I've hit the fairway, the ball is just so far above my feet, uh, I really struggle to normally connect with the ball well on this one. Because of my decent tee shot, I've actually left myself about 50 yards in, which isn't too bad, but you really do not want to leave yourself a higher of the flag on this hole. Uh, but actually, for once, I make a fairly decent contact of it. I'm quite happy with that. I hold the pose. You've got to hold the pose when you're happy with it. And it's not too bad. However, I have left it high of the flag, which is where I really, really didn't want to be. And you're going to see from this part now, it's actually such a tough little green. The green's really, really small anyway. Um, and it's got some severe slopes on it. And I give this a little tickle. I just miss it by about two centimeters. Uh, but it rolls back down probably three to four foot past the hole. So now I've got a pretty simple, just straight back up the hill putt. For me personally, I'm not that great of a putter, so I'm never overly confident standing over putts, but I'm pretty happy with this one, and I managed to roll it in for a par, which I will always take on this hole. This hole seems to be my nemesis. So a par here means I stay at two over, and in terms of my Stapleford score, I actually get three points for that. So it means I move on to five Stapleford points. So final hole of the three, it's the eighth here at Worley. And it's a lovely little par three, 145 yards from the Yellers, uh, playing over the water. So it's about 120 to carry the water. But you've got some nasty little bunkers as well protecting this green. So I've gone with an eight iron and I've sent it out there to the right. And actually it turns out to be a pretty good little tactic because there's quite a tier on the green just catches the tear uh, past the flag and then nicely works its way down and i thought it was going in that was close i really did that was i was really quite close. happy with that one you can tell so the ball pitched on the bank of the green here rolled down the hill just past the hole and ended about six seven foot past i'll take that 
So I've got about seven foot back up the hill, also a right to left break in this one. So I can sense you're all anticipating, can I make birdie here on the final hole? Of course I can't. Did you guys really think I was going to make that? But to be honest, I'm always kind of happy making par. So there you go, that was the end of my quick little three hole course vlog. First time out since lockdown. Um, hitting it really well today, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really enjoying being out today. Uh, so that was two par fours and a par three, uh, and I shot uh, a double bogey, a par and a par. So on my 20 handicap, I believe that's eight points. Um, for those of you who don't play uh, Stapleford, I think, yeah, I was level handicap. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little video there today. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all my latest reviews of golf shoes, clothing and tech right here on Golf Guy Reviews.